first things first, roll with me, you ride a shotgun in a hearse. Rap sheets long like Buffy the body strong. Subliminal criminal breaking niggas like laws. You all rev money. with no drive. That's how break. paper sound. Take that to the bank and write crazy checks. When I flex, niggas break like ABS. I hold it down like three taps from the ref. Wrestling sounds of whackness to remain deaf. I hit the mute button when you start fronting. Cocking back foreskins, the only time you bussin'. End of discussion. Need I say more? Send my auto metaphors, leave holes in your velours. To white tees, to throwbacks, whatever the apparel. I dress niggas for they few narrow. I'm thorough. Cats like you made me write this joint. I should just shank you to make sure you got the point. Don't get it twisted, cause you might dread I'm fiendin' like Pookie to start cracking heads. I'm down at the chair and just decide I want to get my own barber shop and. You know, decided to uh, you know, bring the best along with me. Yeah. Ryan's chair, that is. X member. X member the Ryan's chair? X member. X members. Okay, what happened to Ryan's chair? No hard feelings. Just decide. No hard feelings? No hard feelings at all. Just, you know, decided it was time to get out on my own and, you know, still got love for the shop. Ain't no, you know, you know, love lost. Just Kind of get rough, get your own. Yeah, so I go with my barber goes. Yeah. I really, there's no real loyalty to his shop. It's, it's to the barber. Yeah, that's who, that's who doing, you know, doing the work. For sure. For he sure. was cutting out his car with a after cigarette lighter. I, I have a chair in the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get, get my stuff cut. Yeah. Yeah, my loyalty steps to the barber. Okay. Okay. Any other big city? Okay, you got Baltimore. They average 30 murders a month. You know what I'm saying? But Youngstown, we average, we might average about 30 to 40 a year. You know what I'm saying? So the difference being is in Baltimore, a cat killing somebody, he may not know the cat he killed. You know what I mean? Because you got a you got a wider range of people. The population is greater. But in Youngstown, you know what I'm saying? I might if, if I kill Garrison, that's common for me to kill for a cat like me to kill Garrison. Me and Garrison grew up on the sharing line together. You know what I'm saying? He didn't play in my backyard, I didn't play in his backyard. His mom probably was about to whoop me before, you know what I'm saying? So, in Youngstown, cats is more or less killing cats that they know. That's what made Youngstown crazy, you know what I mean? That's what make it nuts, because these cats, that's what they run out. Yeah. Yeah. Feel that pain. So it's just yeah. the fact that we fought so long to get rid of it, yeah. you know what I mean? Get rid of those feelings, period. It, like even now, a white dude said to me, I mean, it don't have no effect. I laugh at them because that's what they hate work. I'll be honest. It's a chance to work in the fiction here. It's It's sad to say, I've been hearing black people say it. If you were using myself, maybe every night. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, it don't affect us. Like it don't offend me when a black dude say nigga, and when a white dude say nigga, that offend me. As soon as that black dude say nigga, what? You ready to scrap. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, what then? You know what I'm saying? You ready? ready to get busy with him, but that word, it's a sensitive word, you know what I'm saying? It can be offensive between two black people, as it can have the same effect as it does when a white man is calling a black man a nigga, but, you know what I'm saying, I think eventually it's something that's going, it's something that we're going to have to stop using, but I be using it, and I shouldn't be, but I was raised off nigga, raised off chicken, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was raised off chicken, I was raised off niggas. There's a lot of words that we can use to describe or, you know, or, or greet somebody with. You know, it, it, it's, it's too many words out there to call each other niggas. And, you know, we, we, we gotta expand our mind and, and, and use other words like, you know, boy or, 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 or anything. But niggas, you know, even though we wasn't group, we didn't grow up in that day, you know, we still fought. You know, to, you know, put that right, and it's, it's, I don't think we should use it. You know, I think it's other words that we could use instead of that in its place. And, um, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just negative all the way around. No matter how you put it, you know, you might look at it as, you know, that's respect for my boy, you know, you know, this is my nigga, that's my nigga, or, you know, nigga, you did this, you know, it's just it's different ways you can use it, but it is all, it is all, it is all, all negative. Good evening, y'all. My name is Archangel, and I'm your heavenly host for the evening. Tonight, we're gonna slow this thing down a little bit and get into a little poetry. Is that alright? Alright, 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 alright. Is that okay? Alright, alright. See, y'all know my story, all these good and bad things that were thrown before me. And y'all know I was addicted to pain pills, but I was just trying to get rid of all this pain I feel. 
Nah, y'all know my pain Trying to survive and provide for a little storm and rain And y'all know the ghetto raised me But if you from the ghetto, you know how them ghetto days be I was raised on sugar water and a no good father That left his sons and his little daughter And I was raised in a church But sometimes I wonder if that saved me